Okay, welcome to our LSU Online Admissions A through Z webinar. It's exactly 12 o'clock, so we'll go ahead and get started. So I'll introduce myself. Uh, my name is Brittany Randall. I'm an enrollment concierge with LSU Online. I've been uh, with the team for over a year now. And just to share a little bit more information about myself, um, I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana and moved to Baton Rouge in 2015. So I have a bachelor's degree in mass comm from Loyola University in New Orleans and currently pursuing my uh, master's degree in educational technology. So Bailey, you can go ahead and introduce yourself as well. Yeah, hey guys, um, my name is Bailey Rundle. I'm originally from Seattle, Washington. I came to Baton Rouge in 2014 to pursue an undergrad in sports administration. I loved LSU so much that I chose to stay here and get my master's degree in leadership and human resource development. And now I'm a learner concierge for our LSU online programs. So for our agenda today, we're going to discuss what makes LSU Online unique. We're going to discuss our view on world-class customer service. We're also going to talk about the transfer information in our academic resources and then end with Q&A. So what makes LSU Online um, unique? Uh, we have designed pathways for students to be admitted to an LSU Online campus. And we do this by meeting the student where they are on their individualized academic track. And we use our world-class dedicated concierge team where we provide additional support and guidance from inquiry all the way up until graduation, just reassuring the student that they're never alone, even though that they're taking online classes. We also offer a stackable learning options. So if you wanna begin with our training and then work your way up into a degree, that's always an option. And one that comes to mind is our construction management program. With that one, it has the microcred opportunity, it has the bachelor's degree, it has the post-bac certificate, it has the master's degree. And with each one of those, um, they are transferable into the next, which makes it stackable. We also have the policy of no credit wasted, meaning we do look at the student holistically, taking into consideration their life experiences, um, their military and professional um, credentials, to see what we can apply towards college credit through our prior learning assessment opportunities. And with the pathways that we have, we utilize our sister campuses throughout the state, LS, LSU Shreveport, LSU Eunice, and LSU Alexandria, just making sure that we have a great fit for the student based on their goals and their admission status. And we also have designed um, a seamless transfer option where you can go from one university to the next. Now, just to go into a little bit more detail about our prior learning opportunity, uh, we strongly and highly recommend that you submit any credits or any professional and certifications, military certifications to the department, just to kind of see what we can do to help you earn that degree a little bit faster and of course, uh, more affordably. And who doesn't like to save money, right? <laughs> So then even with our um, microcredit opportunities, if you start there, that can also um, possibly transfer into our degrees and programs. Hey, um, Brittany, before you move on, um, I do have a question about prior learning. Um, does every program at LSU Online accept prior learning credits? I'm sorry, repeat that for me, Bailey. I could barely hear Yeah, you. does every uh, program at LSU Online accept prior learning credits? It does depend on the department. So that's why we strongly recommend that you submit anything that you feel is relevant. So even though it may not be listed on the website or you may not have had that conversation with your enrollment concierge just yet, I highly recommend that you, you know, bring that to light to tell them, you know, what you've done in the past to see what we can do to help you earn that degree a little bit faster. And that was a really good question. So let's talk a little bit more about our WorldCast customer service, Bailey, go ahead. Yeah, so um, what makes LSU Online really different and stand out is our world-class customer service. At 
no point are you ever going to feel like you're alone. Um, I know going to school at, uh, online can be a difficult and a lonely experience. Um, and so we're really there to help guide you and be that point of contact for you on campus. So if you ever have any questions or any concerns and you don't know who to reach out to, you can always know that you can reach out to one of us and we're there to help answer questions for you, find resources for you. Um, we're really there to be your support system. Um, if you ever just need to call us and talk to us and say, hey, I'm struggling in a class or hey, I don't know who I'm supposed to reach out to. Um, that's really what we're there to do. We're there to guide you through this process all the way from that initial point of filling out an application all the way through graduation. So at no point are you ever going to feel like you're kind of just alone in this process and you don't know what to do. We're really there to help guide you through this. So with our enrollment concierge team, we actually are um, divided into two separate sides. So our first conversation with the students would be with our enrollment coordinators. With that conversation, they ask qualifying questions like your motivation on, you know, what's motivating you to pursue a new degree, your academic history, um, like we talked about, if you have any prior uh, college credits that you want to apply towards this new degree or any um, certifications, and then also the, the payment opportunities. So if you're familiar with FAFSA and the financial aid options, if your employer offers tuition reimbursement or scholarship opportunities, um, even the start date. So we would love to know when you want to get started with your classes and even when do you uh, want to graduate? Because with a lot of students, um, they can use the degrees for promotion opportunities. So we really want to know the whole story on why you want to um, get a degree. And then based on the information that they gather, they would transfer the student to a, a certain enrollment concierge. We are SMEs for our programs, which is our subject matter experts. And we dive a little bit uh, deeper in you know, what your goals are and how you think the degree is going to help you accomplish those goals. So just to bring it to life just a little bit, once you go to our online.lsu.edu website, there's those yellow buttons at the top of the screen where you can request more information and you would more than likely be connected with our coordinators. And again, they will ask those qualifying questions and then transfer you to your enrollment concierge member. And then from that person uh, with your enrollment concierge, they're gonna go over the program specific information with you. They're gonna talk about the admissions requirements, the application requirements, and even just guide you through that entire experience of applying with us. And then once you're admitted, you're gonna uh, work with a learner concierge. So Bailey, if you can go into, you know, what you guys do for our admitted students. Yeah, Brittany, so once you have been admitted into the program, um, your enrollment concierge is going to transfer you over to your learner concierge. And how they do this is they set up a welcome call. And a welcome call is really going to be our first chance to try to develop a relationship with our students. And in that welcome call, you are gonna to get to talk to your learner concierge about different things from um, different resources available to you on campus. How do you schedule your classes? How do you complete registration? Any financial aid questions that you have, we can help direct you to the right people to be answering those financial aid questions. Um, transfer credits, we're able to help uh, tell you who your advisor is gonna be and we're able to help pass you on to your advisor so that you're able to see what your transfer credits are gonna look like, what your degree plan is gonna look like. We're really there to offer you different resources for academic support, university resources. How do you work your Moodle? How do you use LSU um, online? Um, what does a traditional class look like? We're really there to be your direct point of contact from admissions to graduation. So any question, any concern that you have, you can reach out to your learner concierge and they can help answer questions for you, find resources for you. Um, and most importantly, they can help facilitate interactions for you. So if you have financial aid questions or advising questions, your learner concierge can kind of be the middleman between those and help you facilitate conversations on who you need to be talking to. And that's really what that learner concierge is. Um, and every program at LSU online has a different learner concierge that is assigned to it. So your learner concierge is really familiar with your program and what it is that that degree requires and who your learner or your, who your academic advisor is going to be. And they're really there to help guide you. Our main goal is to get our students to graduation. Um, we want to make sure that you get admitted to and once you get admitted, our goal becomes then, how do we get you to be successful to get to graduation? 
Um, graduation is a really special time with us at LSU, and we want to make sure that all of our students do get to that point of graduation um, because that is your end goal and that's our end goal. Um, when you graduate, we are then successful as well. Um, what comes along with being part of the LSU community is that you really do become part of a family. Um, at LSU, um, especially LSU Online, we are a small, tight-knit group of uh, students and staff and faculty that really do love our LSU brand. Um, we do different, different events. Uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> You're good. Uh, we do different events around campus. Um, our big chance to connect with our LSU online students is at graduation. So once you get to that point of graduation, um, we do invite you to come to campus to graduate, to walk at graduation. But most importantly, we do hold an event uh, with just our LSU online students where we get to meet you. So you get to put a face to the name. We get to have a, you know, meet your families. Um, and we're really there to support you and congratulate you within that um, celebration of making it to graduation. So we do have a bunch of different programs offered all the way from associate's degrees up to master's degrees. Um, and this really plays into that stackable um, option that Brittany was talking about earlier. Um, the biggest example being construction management. You can start with a construction management microcred go through all the way up to a bachelor's degree, certificate program, master's degree, um, but we really do have something for everyone. Um, one degree that we really do like to highlight is the Bachelor's of Interdisciplinary Studies degree. Um, this is a degree if you were just looking to get as many transfer credits as you can um, accepted, Bachelor's of Interdisciplinary Studies is going to accept the most amount of transfer credits. Um, it is going to be your fastest um, path to completion, most likely. Um, and it really is just, a, it's a more broad degree. So you do get to uh, take classes from different um, departments on campus. Um, and another great selling feature is that I am the learner concierge for the Bachelor's of Interdisciplinary Studies degree. So you do get to work with me. And so I am super excited if that is a career path that, or a degree path that you do choose to uh, do with us at LSU Online. So with our uh, transfer admission requirements, um, for our applicants, you would have to complete the entire application process and the department will be able to do the degree audit once you're fully admitted. So Bailey, if you wanna go into a little bit more details about what that entails. Yeah, so once you get admitted into the university, um, your transfer credits are going to be um, reviewed by admissions. So admissions is going to look at your uh, classes and see, is there anything that will be a direct transfer over? And that could be if someone from your university or school that you previously attended has already transferred in one of those credits. Um, and so they can review that and see, okay, this English class is going to count for this English class. If it's a class that they're unsure about, they then send that class over to the department and the department then reviews the course. Um, at that point, they then notify your learner concierge saying that this credit is, or this class is under review. And then your learner concierge is going to reach out to you to request syllabus for the course. Um, and that just gives the department more resources and a better um, option to review the course to make sure that that class is transferring in as something that um, it should be transferring in for. Um, once all of those transfer credits have been reviewed, then your advisor is there to set up and see what class is going to count for what and what you have left to complete in your degree. Um, and if there isn't a class that the, the department says, okay, this will count for this at LSU, then that is not going to be a wasted credit. It's just going to be uh, transferred in as a general elective credit. And I do want to mention too, like the slide says, it has to be a grade C or better and even have that 2.5 um, academic GPA too. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, this is an example of things that we would go over in your welcome call with your learner concierge. These are all different support and resources that are available to our online students. So we have things from access to the library, the bookstore, military services, 
Um, if you're struggling on how do you study, um, maybe it's been a while since you've gone to college or this is your first college experience and studying is you know different and things have changed. So what are those study strategies that you can use to implement um, in your day-to-day -day life to better your success in the course? Um, the, the support that I really like to highlight is the e-tutoring. E-tutoring is available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you're ever struggling in a class and you need some additional support, e-tutoring is going to be there to help you. They also set up Zoom study sessions. You can schedule one-on-one -on -one academic tutoring with a tutor. Um, that's all going to be available to you in that e-tutoring. And then I also really like to highlight our career center. So our goal is to get you to graduation, but our goal is also to make sure that you're successful after graduation. And the Career Center is really there to help you find a career path and a job that you really do love after graduation. So they will do things like they'll review your resume, they can set up mock interviews with you, um, they can help you network um, and really find a career path that fits you. And I'm glad that you brought that up, um, Billy, because even with our OLEN Career Center, our applicants can take um, part in that as well. They can help you write your um, personal statements. They can help you take assessments just to really kind of narrow down which industry and career path you should actually take on what, you know, you assess for. So we'll go into some frequently asked questions. And the first one that we have here, it says, how do I start my application? Generally speaking, you would work with their coordinator that then to your concierge, and then they'll go over all of the program details with you and send you that application link via email. Um, if um, that isn't the path that you started with, you can also go to our website, which is at online.lsu.edu. And then in the top right side of your screen, there's a yellow box that says apply now. You'll be able to do it from there too. Then the next question says, is there an application fee? Um, there is an application fee. However, for most of our programs, we do offer an application fee waiver code. So I highly recommend that you reach out to your enrollment um, concierge to get that particular information. And then what transcripts are required? So with our programs, they do require transcripts from every institution of higher learning to be submitted, but again, Confirm with your enrollment concierge to see what your department and what your application needs. And then the last question on this slide says, will my classes transfer in? So um, like we talked about before, each department has their own a transfer credit policy. So we highly recommend that you speak with your enrollment concierge, let them know what um, other classes you've taken before, and they can give you the specific information about your degree. Brittany, before you move on, we do have a question in the chat, and it okay. is, if you are a returning and an older student, um, what are those options? Is there anything that can be provided for our returning older students, and are the are requirements for a graduate school the same? So, that's a so you said, are the admissions requirements the same for graduate school? Yes, I think, and it's if they're a returning older student. Okay, so it's more or less the same with the, the graduate programs. With the transfer option, we can start there. If your prior classes do transfer into the program, your academic advisor would let you know, but it would not necessarily be applied until after you complete nine credit hours with us. So that does help shorten the amount of time of you getting your degree with LSU. Um, with the admissions requirements, that would be the same for you. So you would just fill out the application, submit all of your um, transcripts, and then depending on what program that you have, we can offer that application fee waiver code too. Awesome. Um, and then just another question um, from the chat um, is, do you need transcripts from LSU Baton Rouge if you are going to pursue a program at LSU Alexandria? Yes, so you would have to request your transcripts for, um, from the A&M campus to go to the um, LSU Alexandria campus. Awesome, and then just one other application question. Um, approximately how long after submitting an application will they know if they've been accepted to the program? And that's a really great question. So with our um, admissions process, we have a really quick turnaround. It can take a week or less for you to get that decision back from the department. And it usually comes back in three days. <laughs> Very good. 
Okay, and I see one more that just came in. It says, how do you find out who my enrollment concierge is? So you can call our 833 number, which is 833-280-5634, and you can connect with our coordinators. So based on what program you're interested in, they will let you know who would be your enrollment concierge. Gotcha. So the question is, how do you know what classes to take? Um, every program at LSU Online does have an academic advisor that is assigned to it. Um, the process of how you interact with that academic advisor does differ from program to program. In most cases for our undergrad programs, you do have to meet with an academic advisor before you are able to schedule classes. Um, how that kind of works is once you've had your welcome call with your learner concierge, then your learner concierge then notifies your academic advisor that you're ready to be advised. And then they'll sit down and set up an advising appointment with you. And at that point, you'll be able to review any transfer credits that you've submitted. You'll be able to look at any prior learning assessments and your academic advisor will be able to create an academic tracking plan for you and advise you on which courses to be taking each term. That kind of differs from our master students. Um, our master students, for example, um, the MBA program, your advisor will reach out to you about three to four weeks before the start of the program with which course you should be scheduling for, and then they're able to uh, create an academic tracking plan for you. And then we have other programs such as the Masters of Analytics and the Grad Certificate in Analytics that um, your advisor just schedules the classes for you. So at no point are you ever going to have to schedule, um, your advisor schedules them for you. So the interaction is different between advisors um, and programs, but every program does have an academic advisor that is there to help you um, figure out which classes you should be taking each term. Um, the next question is, I've gotten lo locked out of my Moodle, what do I do? Um, this is, happens to a large majority of us. We all get locked out of our Moodle or email or my LSU at some point in time. And what's really great is that we do have an LSU IT department and a help desk that is there to help reset all of that for you. Um, you can always reach out to your learner concierge and your learner concierge will be able to help get you in contact with IT, or you can just reach out to IT for on your own. And they're really the ones that are there to help reset everything for you and make sure that you have access to everything you need online. Um, the next question is, will my diploma read LSU online? No, your diploma will read the exact name of the campus in which you are graduating for. Um, so if it's LSU Alexandria, it will say LSU Alexandria. If it's the flagship university, it will say LSU A&M. Um, but at no point are you differentiated with an online on your degree. And that goes in with to can we walk at graduation? Yes, you will be able to walk at graduation. Um, that is a huge celebration that we do love to have and we would love all of our online students to join us at graduation. Um, and just like the degree or your diploma, at no point will you ever be differentiated as an online student. So when you walk across the stage, if you're in the MBA program, you're gonna walk across with all the MBA students. Um, at no point are they gonna say our LSU online MBA students. So that's a really great um, thing as well. And before we uh, move on, I see some questions that's coming in through our Q&A section. Um, it says, when will spring 2021 be available on the application? So the great thing is it is currently available. You would just have to select that option when you're applying. Now, the other question it wants, the student wants to know, can we talk about the CLEP credit slash transfer opportunity? Um, so we're actually going to talk about that in just a few moments. Uh, we're um, gathering the information that you would need and the links that we can share with you. Yeah, so in regards to CLEP, um, we do accept CLEP transfer credits, um, but just like PLA, it does differ from program to program and what it is that they're going to accept. So that is always something that once you have that advising appointment with your academic advisor, you are going to want to talk about CLEP transfer credits. Um, and they're really the ones that are going to have the most information about it and be able to see how those transfer CLEP transfer credits are going to apply to your degree. Okay, and I also just shared that link with you too. So you can um, review that information a little bit in more detail. Okay. And we are currently enrolling for our first fall module that begins August 24th. 
and you have until August 10th to get that application completed. So um, as we mentioned a few moments ago, you can call us at the 833-280-5634 number that's on your screen. You can also send us an email at lsuonline at lsu.edu or visit our website, which is online.lsu.edu. Um, you can review all of our programs that we offer there. You can also um, click those yellow buttons that say apply now or request more information where you'll be connected with the coordinators. And just to go back to that question of when uh, spring 2021 will be open, um, it is open for grads right now um, and it will be open for undergrads hopefully within the next week. Yep. And we'll open it up for a little bit more um, questions now. So you can go ahead and place them again in our Q&A question box at the bottom of your screen. And you guys are asking really great questions so far, so keep them coming. <laughs> okay, so we have a question that says, what is your favorite part of working for LSU online? You can um, answer that question first, Bailey, then I'll follow up. I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> what is your favorite part of working for LSU online? <laughs> um, I love getting to help the students and really being that person that um, gets to be with them through that journey um, and being able to see them at graduation. So knowing that I helped them schedule and I helped them, you know, answer questions and I was really there to help guide them through that and that we together got to that end goal of graduation. And I, I, I definitely like that answer. And it's kind of hard for me to answer this question because there's so many things <laughs> that I like. But one of um, my favorite things is really speaking with everyone from around the world. You know, I talk to students in Japan. I talk to students in California. I talk to students in Hawaii. It's like they get to be in these exotic places. And we all have this one thing in common of how much we love LSU. And just, just to share those experiences and those stories is just so exciting. And kind of just to piggy off of that, Brittany, is I do have a lot of students that um, when we do do our welcome call are nervous about being maybe a non-traditional student. Maybe they're a little bit older. Maybe they're returning back to school. Um, and they're worried that the course and the, the program is going to be a bunch of, you know, high school students right out of college um, or right out of high school. I'm sorry. And I try to explain to them that because we are an online program, we do see such a wide variety of students and it is such a diverse population. Um, we have students that are right out of high school, but we do have students that, you know, are grandparents and are retired and just want to complete the degree for themselves. Um, and like you said, I have students from Qatar, I have students from Chile. And so to be able to interact and take classes with all different age groups and all different people from different backgrounds and all across the country and the world is a really exciting opportunity. And I see we have a lot of questions in the, um, the Q&A now. So we can start with, once the FAFSA is submitted, how long does financial aid personnel usually take to provide information regarding federal aid? So once you fill out that FAFSA application, it does take three days for the government to process it on their end, and then about five days for our office to um, process it. And then if they need any additional documents from you, um, they'll send you emails to let you know. Yeah, um, another question that was in the chat was, will the recording of the presentation be available after the webinar? And yes, it will be posted um, as an archived webinar that you can go back and review things for. And another question we have, it says, do we get a pause account and email address before admissions? So that really depends on if you're applying to undergrad or graduate level. For undergrad, you will get a pause ID to check your application status. Um, with the graduate program, once you're admitted, you'll get your LSU um, email address and then your LSU ID number. Um, another person in the chat asked, um, can you give examples of how LSU helps online students feel connected um, throughout their journey other than being able to attend graduation? I'm sorry, go ahead, Brittany. No, you go ahead, Bailey. I was just going to say, um, from my end, um, 
I think that being able to feel connected is really that relationship that you build with your learner concierge um, because your learner concierge is going to be the consistent in your journey with us at LSU. Um, so your professors may change. You may have different, you know, classes with different students and stuff, but being able to know that your learner concierge is always going to be that person that you're able to reach out to. Um, if you're just stressed and you need someone to talk to, um, you can reach out to your learner concierge. If you don't know the deadlines for things, your learner concierge is going to be there to help you. Um, so that relationship that you build with your learner concierge, I would say, is probably going to be the most consistent thing. Um, in addition to that, I know that our team is really working on trying to make students from across the country really feel a part of our LSU online community. Um, and I know, for example, this past um, year prior to COVID uh, kind of hitting us that they were trying to plan crawfish boils across the country um, so our online students could come meet other online students. Um, unfortunately, that was something that has had to be postponed because of the pandemic that has hit. But we are really working on trying to create activities and events that um, our students can participate in. Awesome. And another question that we have here says, how long on average does it take for transcripts to be received? So there are two different options when it comes to requesting transcripts. You can do it electronically. That one is preferred because it is a shorter processing time. It can take about three days at max for us to receive it. With the mailed transcripts, especially with everything that's been going on with the pandemic, it has been a little delayed. So that one can take up to 10 days or a little bit longer. Just really depends on when your school sends the, um, the transcript to us. Okay. Um, another question was, are there any substitution for some requirements for graduate admissions? Do you know the answer to that, Brittany? And what was the question again? I'm sorry. Yeah. Are there any substitutions for some requirements for graduate admissions? Um, Christina, can you clarify a little bit more what you're looking for? Like, are you referring to classes or what are you referring to? Because I want to make sure I give you the right information. Um, we had another question that says, while we're waiting on that one, um, can I complete some basic classes at LSU A online to save some money and then transfer to LSU A&M to complete the degree? Yeah, so we have that transfer opportunity um, and it's kind of seamless. You can just build your GPA up with LSU A and then once you're ready to transfer to LSU A&M, then you'll work with a concierge with us and then we'll be able to help you with that application process. So it's definitely a possibility for you. Um, let's see. Do you know how long on average does it take for a transcript to be received? Yeah, I think we covered that one. Um, I'll oh, go sorry. ahead and clear it out. But yeah, um, again, it really just depends on which option you choose. If it is electronic, it takes three days at, at max and mailed just a little bit longer, maybe like a week and a half. Um, we had a student that says, um, what if you already have a BA degree and you're just doing an add-on that's only 18 hours? Will they still have access to everything that we offer? And so I'm assuming that's like a graduate certificate or an add-on. And as a if you are in a graduate certificate program, you do have access to all of our LSU online resources. So the library, the career center, um, e-tutoring, all of that is available to you, yes. Okay. And then the next question that we have here is how many hours must you take to receive FAFSA, which is financial aid? So with that one, with our online students, you're able to receive funding if you enroll as part-time or as full-time. Now, it does depend on each student because um, they process it based on your personal information. But um, if you do enroll as part-time, you would be able to still receive financial aid. And part-time looks different for graduate students than it does for undergrads. So each, if you're a graduate student or an undergrad student, that part-time um, is different. So how many credit hours you have to take in a term is different from part-time or from graduate to undergrad. Um, Brittany, do you know what they do if they do not receive a pause ID when they applied? Um, 
if they have an enrollment concierge, of course, reach out to them and they would um, get you into the right department. You can also reach out to admissions. Um, they usually would be able to send you an email with that information so you can check the status of your application. Awesome. And then Christina, or yeah, clarified her question. Um, is there any G, uh, GRE or GMAT uh, recommendations or are there substitutions for that for graduate admissions? Okay, so each department is different. And thank you so much for clarifying your question for me. With the GRE, there are a lot of different waiver opportunities that you can um, to apply with. So if you have certain years of work experience, if you meet a certain GPA requirement, you would not have to necessarily take that exam. Um, with the recommendations, that generally is a requirement. So they may waive the amount that you can um, submit, but they would want at least two on there. Um, and then we did have a, stu or a participant ask, um, can you all speak to the foundation courses that can be taken at the beginning of the MBA program? And if passed, does this coursework contribute to the student's GPA? So when you say the uh, foundation courses, are you referring to um, like the microcreds or just within that degree itself? Yes. If you just give clarification on what you mean by foundation course. And then kind of going back to that um, question on the, um, can we waive GMAT or GRE scores? Um, and several programs waive them all together. Um, the MBA program has it waived for all applicants and the, ma or the masters in construction management and industrial engineering are also programs that do waive that GRE and GMAT score. Um, so yes, the, um, the, the participant requ uh, responded saying microcreds. So do microcreds taken at the beginning of the MBA program then court count towards the continued GPA of the student? Um, go ahead. And that you can, <laughs> I was going to say that it depends on the class itself. There's like the accounting microcreds, the uh, fundamentals of accounting. So it really, really depends on what classes you have to take within that MBA program that can um, be approved by the department. But any class that you do that does get counted. So if you do a microcred in accounting and the MBA program takes, let's say, three of those classes, um, those classes will count towards your GPA, yes. Any other questions? You guys are asking really great questions. Mm -hmm. Brittany, we had okay. a person ask if we can provide our contact info. Yes, so, um, if you want to email me directly, uh, my email address is B Randall, that's B as in Brittany, R A N D A L L, the number one at lsu.edu. And Bailey? Um, if you guys want to email me directly, directly, my email address is going to be very similar to Brittany's, but it is going <laughs> to be B R U N D L 1 at lsu.edu. Um, and just for clarification for everyone, um, at the end of this, um, in the next week, we will be um, sending you a, the recording of this presentation as well. And in that email will also be all the links to apply. We hope that this webinar is able to kind of provide a good insight on what it is that we do for our students and to give you the information that you need when you're considering them applying to the programs too. So it doesn't look like we have any more um, questions coming in. We really want to thank you for your time for um, coming in today, asking us these really great questions. If you do need anything, you know, feel free to reach out to us or also visit our website again, which is online.lsu.edu. And you guys have a great weekend and go Tigers. Go Tigers, yes. <laughs>